Good morning. Glad you could join us for another prayer and coffee. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Watch, stand fast in the faith, be strong, be brave. Ephesians 6, 13. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Philippians 4, 1. Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm, thus in the Lord, my beloved. Psalm 18.37 I pursued my enemies and overtook them, and did not turn back until they were consumed. We are standing on a battlefield, a spiritual battlefield in prayer for our families, our communities, our cities, and for our our very nation and sometimes it may, may feel like that you are standing alone you are never alone in Christ he promised to never leave us never forsake us but the enemy fi we fight is relentless he fights with deception and distraction and fiery darts of thoughts that mess with our thinking and he doesn't fight fair his goal is to make us tired worn out testing our perseverance I have a word from the Lord for you today. Never, never, never give up. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep pursuing our enemy in prayer and obedience as the Holy Spirit leads you. The light of Jesus Christ is breaking through. In it is breaking through against this present darkness. We are winning. We are overcoming. Let's pray. Father, sometimes it feels like we're all alone in this fight against our enemy. And sometimes we get worn out. We pray that we will have the strength to stick it out over the long haul. Not the grim strength of gritting our teeth, but glory-filled strength that only comes from you, Father. Your strength that endures the unendurable. Your strength that spills over into joy that makes us strong enough for today to take part in everything you have for us today through your grace. We choose not to shuffle along with our eyes to the ground, absorbed only in the things of this life. We choose to look up and to keep our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We choose to see from the perspective of Christ and where he is seated. We choose to receive the peace of God through Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ who gave his life, that we might live in him and with him forever. Amen.